That was... Yesterday I just finished my 5K time trial and the goal is to get everything fully recorded raw. We basically got all of it recorded except for a few minutes missing. So I'm gonna do some commentary over it and walk you through the PR attempt. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy me sharing my progress, what I'm doing to make progress throughout this triathlon journey and subscribe for more videos like this as well as stock investing and portfolio updates. So when we do it, it doesn't matter where you are. Just uh, do your best to keep up. You know? Okay, there he goes. <laughs> Kicking off the 5K, we're starting right now. I started right there, and y'all see me jogging? There we go. We're on the track because I needed uh, to be able to get it recorded on the road. Much more challenging. So uh, I actually got my mom on the bike here. Shout out to my mom. She's recording this with one hand while trying to ride and keep up. And no, no tripod, no fancy setup. So anyways. My game plan with this was to maintain about 420 per kilometer, see how I feel after the first, second, and third kilometer, and then crank up the intensity with, with whatever I have left. I knew I would be able to hold 420 for all 5K. That's one thing I did know. You know, it's been a while since I've done a 5K time trial, let alone ever done a 5K time trial on a track. So this was a first. You'll see me grabbing my butt right there. Basically, what I had was my phone in my, my pocket there, zipper, and I was trying to turn up the volume. <laughs> so I'm trying to feel for the button to turn up the volume. Um, and it max it out. So I have my earphones there. Thankfully, I had the music. That obviously helps a bit with the PR attempt. And I actually met some guys there playing soccer. So they hyped me up to uh, go ahead and hit this PR. And the first thing I noticed with this was my limited amounts of arm swing. So my arms are not moving nearly enough, not to mention you know, my wrists, my hands are, are hanging too low. So next time, you know, and I've known this is a habit of mine that I only really swing and thrust my arms when I'm at top speeds or I'm doing like 400 meter intervals. You know, at a 5K pace, I really don't use my arms and I had to cue myself multiple times throughout this to get more arm swing in. So, you know, that out of the way, you'll see that, you know, a while. And what I'm doing is I'm looking at my watch just to make sure that I'm hanging around that 420. And I actually was around 415 per kilometer. And I was holding it and I felt really good. But I started in the back of my mind to get a little worried because I'm like, you know, am I gonna blow up later if I hold anything faster than 415? Because there was multiple times where I would look down at my watch and um, you know, I'd be seeing 410 per kilometer, 405 per kilometer, and I'm like, okay, slow down, slow down. That's, that's basically the whole race, <laughs> is I'm going 415, I'm seeing 410, I'm seeing 405, and I'm like, whoa, slow down. And then I slow it down and I'll see like 425, 420, and I'm like, okay, speed it up a bit. But in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, hey, I might blow up in, in the last few K if I'm holding this 415 per kilometer pace, because I've never, Never really tried. So as I'm going, you know, I'm getting a little more arm swing sometimes. Breathing felt really good. And I, on my aura ring, my readiness score this day was phenomenal. I was fully recovered. My resting heart rate was 41 beats per minute this morning. And anytime my resting heart rate is, you know, about 43 to 47, I'm kind of overtrained. And uh, this, this morning, day after this 5K PR attempt, my resting heart rate was actually 49 and it's telling me, my ring is telling me to take more rest because my readiness score is quite low, even though I got good sleep. But yesterday I actually did four sessions. So I did this 5K PR attempt. I did a 37 kilometer bike, it was about an hour. I did a, oh, an hour and a half of weights yesterday. And then I also did a light swim session to work on technique. So that was a big heavy training day. Thus, the reasoning why my resting heart rate is 49. But I'm just trying to paint the picture to give you that comparison because yesterday was 41, which is very low for me. And uh, I was feeling amazing going into this. For the warm up, what I did was I, I jogged about two kilometers, light jog. It was probably about 5.30 to six minutes per kilometer pace. And then after I, I walked a bit, I did a stride of uh, 100 meters at about like a 20 second 100 meter. I did three of those. 
and then uh, with about like 30 second to a minute rest in between. And then I started this. And I find every time I do you know, 100 meter strides at that fast pace, you know, starting off, I, I'm, I'm bolting out of there. And then it's very easy to go straight to the, the threes per kilometer pace. But uh, at this point, you know, we're, we're about four minutes into it and uh, I was still feeling really good. And what I was doing when I was going through this was I was checking my watch to see how I felt at each kilometer. So we're already into the, I just finished the first kilometer and it's a 400 meter track. So three laps is about 1200 meters. And once I finished the first kilometer, I remember checking my watch and it was about uh, 413. So I did the first kilometer in 4.13 and I said in my head, hey, let's maintain 4.20, see how we feel after a few kilometers and then you can push the speed. Well, I did it in 4.13 and I felt really good. So I was like, okay, let's see now if I can do another 14, another 4.13 per kilometer and see where that takes me and see how I feel. After that, if I feel good, then you know we're gonna push it, but let's not to go too crazy. So again, I do have my race coming up. It's a sprint triathlon. It's it's August 14th in Quebec, so we have about 10, 11 weeks, and I'm currently still in my base building, but I want to see where my 5K is at. I know for a fact I can do the, four, the 20K bike in less than 40 minutes on its own, and now we're seeing how fast I can do the 5K on its own, but I'm not putting so much strain on exact times for the swim, bike, and run yet. And it looks like my speed is picked up a little here, and I can tell you on the second kilometer, I completed the sec second kilometer in about 4.10. So I did pick up the pace a little bit and I, I basically held negative splits throughout the 5K, which, is, which was the goal. Last thing I wanted was to go out too fast, guns blazing, and then not being able to finish. And like that's the worst feeling ever. So. I went on more conservatively, but it felt really good, so I kept up that same pace around the 4.10, 4.15 per kilometer pace. And you know, I'm getting a little better with the arm swing, but you'll see multiple times throughout this that I'm really I'm really slacking in the arm swing. Ideally, the uh, the wrists would be a little higher. Instead of a low arm carry, I would keep the uh, wrists higher, and a higher arm carry. But just thoughts for next time. I am pleased with the landing, so I'm really getting that heel back. And if you ever pause the video, you'll see that I'm not overreaching. I'm landing right under me, and my chest is up and forward, so good form there otherwise. And that's where you'll see there was a little break. So we lost about two minutes or so of footage, just because of uh, camera woman needed a little break, uh, nose was runny, and uh, trying to hold the phone to film this for like 20 minutes straight is a huge feat, especially while riding a bike and focusing it this good. So again, shout out to mom for the great filming there. We're now almost through the second kilometer. And that's where you'll see I'm checking my phone to see where, or, or I'm checking my watch to see where my time's at. I do remember about halfway through, or not halfway, I remember after the second kilometer, my watch said 8.30, in the 8.30s. So after the second kilometer, I'm at about 8.30s, and uh, I'm thinking in my head, wow, like can I keep up this pace and potentially go faster? And at this point, I had no idea still. I didn't know what my endurance was like because I've been doing an endurance base building program that I made for myself where I'm really focused on longer distances. So I didn't know when I would bonk because in previous PR attempts, my endurance wouldn't be this good. So when I would be keeping up these paces, I was always in the back of my mind thinking, you know, am I gonna burn out after a few K? But during this, this attempt, I can tell you I surprised myself where I felt like I could hold this pace far longer than I expected and that's purely due to the base building working on a lot of zone 2 training on the bike and with the runs and staying around that 140 beats per minute range whenever I do like an hour run or a 90 minute bike and that helps a ton in a, in a 5k run even though it's it's uh, like 20 minutes 15 minutes 25 minutes depending on where you're at it's highly aerobic 
it's mainly aerobic. We're now about halfway through, so about 2.5k into this, and here's my thoughts. So once I got to halfway, I looked, I, I saw how I felt, and I, I, that's where I planted the seed. I said, okay, let me see how I feel when we get to 3.4k, when there's four laps left. So you know, all these PR attempts, all these time trials, they're highly strategic, they're highly mental. It's how well you can pace yourself, it's how well you can deal with the pain, it's how well you can get out of your own head. So I was feeling it here, I was halfway through and I was thinking, okay, I need to maintain this, this four minute or just over four minute pace to 3.4K. When I see 3.4K on my watch, I now know that there's four laps left and four laps is very little to put in your head, say all you gotta do is four laps. On those four laps, if I feel like I can push, I'm gonna push and I'm gonna maintain that pace for the remainder and just leave it all out on the track. This is really the point where I'm approaching those last four laps and I start to pick up the pace saw my head turn there that's basically when I was saying to my mom that I just had four laps left and I'm kicking strong here only thing going through my mind at this point is hey we got to keep up this sub four minute pace and just keep pushing because we're so close there's only a few minutes left and I was counting down each lap There's basically one kilometer left here. So it's about two and a half laps. And I get all the way down to a 330 per kilometer pace here. 
And this is the point where I start to feel my form break down, but watching it still looks still looks good to me, but I felt like I was just doing everything I could at this point. This last kilometer that we're watching, I, I ran it in 328. I ran a, a 551 mile on the last mile when I did the kick. And my all time one mile PR is 529. So I ran a sub six mile in this 5K PR attempt. I know I could have paced better. I could have started around that four minute per kilometer pace rather than 415, 420. And then I could have held that the whole time and then done the kick on the last kilometer, whatever I had left. And at that point I would have got a far better time just by pacing better. But again, I hadn't done a 5K time trial in months and I hadn't done one on the track. So I had no idea what to expect. So this was, I, I went into this with no expectations just to give it everything I had. And this was rare in the last one, two minutes, I was very audible with my breathing. If you, if you would have heard my breathing, I can't play the, I can't play the audio because there's a lot of wind noise, but I was just exhaling loud, very loud. And that's when you know you're putting in a good effort. So all that matters at the end of the day for me is knowing I gave it 100% on these, these time trials. I prepared myself beforehand and went into it feeling 100% injury free, had no issues after. So all there's left to do is put your, get yourself to that dark place and just fully finish it. And this is all I had left here. find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you're the right girl so i can only say that it feels right it feels right it feels right that was that was 20 minutes and one second okay